All right, guys, so it's just a little spot underneath. So I don't think we're gonna prime on this one. What do you guys think? What's up guys, welcome back. So we have this Tundra in here and the bumper just barely nicked the bottom of this bedside. So they were asking me, did I want to try to smoke it on this edge? And I said, you know what? The job needs to be done right, no matter where the actual damage is. But we don't need to prime this because we smoothed this out so nice. Even though there's a little bit of putty on this one, we're going to go ahead and seal this because I went over it with 600 and show how you don't have to prime every job you do. If you smooth it out and it's in the right location, just go right on to your wet on wet, guys, because the wet on wet that I'm using is actually the primer with a converter in it. So it's just a thinner version of the actual primer anyhow. So let's shoot this one. It's a quick little job. And I just want to show you how you can just go ahead right into your sealer. And if you have a little ring, maybe scuff it lightly and move on to your base and keep on rolling, guys. So we got it all wiped down, we got it all tacked, and we're gonna about to seal it. But the first thing I wanna let you know is, guys, this is where you wanna have communication with your body man. So I have some really good body men here, and they'll finish off the body work in 320. So I know I can get away with just sealing this, and if I have to, a light scuff will do the job. So make sure you build communication with the body men before you try to do something like this and try to seal over 180. If there's some deep scratches in there, you'll still have a problem. So I know my body men and I know how they finish off their work and the location I'm doing this is key to this. So don't just try this anywhere unless you're comfortable with it and you've done it before, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to not prime one at night and paint it and be done. That way tomorrow when you come in, this job's already finished, guys. All right, guys, the sealer's all flashed off, so you don't see any rings, you don't see nothing because he finished it off so smooth. So that's where I like to build communication with my body men because they know if they finish that job off, you know, smooth, I'm going to be able to paint it faster, which will get it back to them quicker, guys. So, you know, build communication with the body men and they'll benefit from it too, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and base it and we'll be clearing this job. This is a really like a 15 minute job in the booth and then about 20 minutes of bake time. So this thing will be baking longer than it takes me to paint it just by me setting up the day with the body man and letting him finish it off smooth so I can go right to sealer and paint this one and this job can go home faster. So everybody wins when you, you know, communicate in the body shop, guys. So let's go ahead and base it and clear it. It's all flashed off and I'm gonna go ahead and tack it because most of this panel is clear coat. So I don't have to worry about my tack rag sticking in the be uh, base coat. And we'll be clearing this one with the DV1 guys. So it does pay to communicate in the body shop. Everybody makes more money and you can do a better job faster with less materials. So this is one more job moving through the booth today that wouldn't have been painted unless you know you communicate and you can do these type of things guys so let's go ahead and clear it with the dv1 And that's the CC200, guys. You know that's the clear I use all the time. So if you're new to the channel, I spray the uh, water-based Sherwin-Williams and I use the CC200 clear as my daily clear that I love. So it's a fast, good clear and it really snaps quick. You can get it out of the booth and buff it right away if you have to. So 
we don't want to buff them but if we have to we have to so that's one coat and we're gonna hit it with one more and we'll be done so let's finish it up watching guys and i'll see you on the next one and don't forget to check out the shirts i just put up a new one spray to win guys see you next time